Hello there and welcome back. Well, new supplier alert. We have got a fabulous brand new cut to us here. Um, doodle craft design. And we're talking cross stitch in this line. And I love a little bit of cross stitch. And these are such clever designs because they have a practical use once you've stitched them out as well. Looking at lots of game boards here. Things like snakes and ladders, Ludo, backgammon, chess. All of those traditional games all stitched out on your Aida and to create something that is going to be a piece of art that you're going to be passing on through the gener generations but at the same time you could actually use it and play with it um, and it's a really clever idea now we've got details of the first kit on the screen there because some very affordable prices so if you do want to jump ahead and have a little look especially if you're looking at the chessboard ones because they've been popular before we even came live with the app uh, um, and we are going to be having a little chat with the, the, the company themselves and have them on the phone lines a little bit later on and learn a little bit about them because they're based right in the middle um, of Scotland and we've got Debbie um, and obviously her husband they both of them will be hearing from we've got videos coming up from them a little bit later on but what they've done is they've put together some fabulous kits for you first of all first and foremost you've got your base you've got your Aida that's 18 count Aida so if you are familiar with your cross stitch you're looking at 18 holes per inch so very easy for you to actually stitch with these but when you start laying down those stitches it all comes together can I show you this? This is beautiful. The colours that you've got here. What a clever idea. Now you've got your Aida obviously the right size to house all those little boxes that you are going to be able to stitch. And of course you've got your snakes and your ladders. Your ladders going up and your snakes coming back down again. Loads and loads of different fabric um, threads within here as well. They're DMC quality threads so you know they're quality to start with. They're already carded so you don't have to separate those up. They're ready to go um, and you are creating something that is going to be absolutely incredible oh sorry we we'll start away very very quickly there you've got your full extra <laughs> full instructions as you can see there so you've got detailed design that's going to help you but of course you have got full instructions within here so if you've never stitched before very quickly and easily you are going to be able to create your design using your little crosses in there you've got a layer and this is the thing that I love about this you don't need to be kind of squinting look at the size of your chart it comes over several pages as you can see a three pages but it makes it's so easy for you to stitch out now of course within your kit you've got all the elements for you to create your first snakes and ladder um, project because I know once you've completed that lots of people will be asking you to do more of these and you'll potentially be doing them to give as gifts to people so of course you have got that there full color as well that's a key thing as well so you don't haven't got a kind of cross reference find a little um, square or a circle or a diamond and then actually find what that depicts because the colors themselves are there so where there's a red dot you've got a little red square and so on and then you've got obviously your squares that you're going to be completing some of these you've just kind of got your your stitches your stitches that um, a single thread so things like your, your your crosses that you can see here around number 79 there those are just literally stitched on top of your Aida so you don't actually have to stitch underneath there it's almost like a top stitch going in place but we'll learn more about that as the hour progresses now something I'm going to mention as well I'm not sure what the the ins and outs of this are but we think and we're going to get this clarified in a few moments that you are going to get a little piece of um, cross stitch as a kit in with your orders as well so uh, you've got your little chart alongside so it's just the chart sorry with this so you're just going to get the chart but we do have coaster kits that you could jump onto the website and get hold of so uh, there you go 39 pounds and 99 pence being the kit price for your snakes and ladders and I think every got Debbie on the phone not yet not yet oh sorry I've misheard you oh we do <laughs> Debbie's at the other end of the phone and she's shouting yes I'm here I'm here <laughs> but we were sure hello Debbie good morning hi Hayley how are you I'm very well and welcome to her Chanda thank you very much it's a bit of a strange circumstance welcoming you but not actually seeing you face to face but it is a bit especially that... when I can see you <laughs> oh bless you well the time will come when you'll be here I am sure I have to say what an ingenious idea these kits are fabulous thank you how did they all come about um well where, when I started the business, we were looking at trying to make designs that were usable so that you, could, uh, you can do something with it, because I've got loads of pictures that I've done. It's a nice idea, I like that. So with this, I mean, I'd, straight away I'd be thinking, oh, it'd be perfect to go. Maybe if you've got like a, a little coffee table or a side table, put a piece of glass over the top of this, and then you could actually use that, couldn't you, as a little like games table? Yeah, we, we do um, suggest ways of finishing off the boards once they're done. And I think we've got a little bit of a video chatting about that later on. We have. 
I love it. Brilliant idea. Um, and we've got some amazing kits. I mean, Snakes and Ladders, traditional favourite. We've also got a, a couple of different versions. Um, we will show you another one in a, a few moments. And talking about the, the, the patterns here, notice that you've got a lot of kind of the, what I call the finishing off stitches, the single threads, is that right? That's right, black, it's black work. Black, black, that's a phrase, black. yes, yeah. yeah. Um, but of course you've got all the different coloured threads in there. So when you're actually looking at the, the cross stitches, so the stitches themselves, is that pretty much the infill of the letters and, and the ladders and the, the snakes? Yeah, the snakes, the ladders, the numbers and the grid. Um, it gives it a little bit of texture by the cross stitch being in two strands and then the black work in one. Very clever. Love it. And is this your, your design? Are you, do you kind of do this, um, sketch it out, and then I'm guessing it's all done on computers now because that's kind of the way that most of it's done design work? Yes, I do. I, I use a, a software package, but um, I, I, unfortunately I can't draw anymore. I'm, I can't I, draw full stop. I've never been <laughs> able to. <laughs> yeah, so, so uh, I do design using the software for this type of thing. I love it. And of course, a lot of people take a lot of pleasure um, from cross stitch. And I'm guessing once we've completed the kit, we're okay to reuse that pattern with our own threads? Absolutely. I've seen some beautiful colour schemes done by my customers who have picked their own colours and they look just as good. I love that idea. Now, how do we find out more about yourselves? Have you got your own Facebook page, social media, that kind of thing? Yep, we're on Facebook uh, and Instagram and uh, on our website. Um, and uh, we're contactable at any time. I love to hear from my customers. I love it. And I'm sure that you will love to see photographs as time goes on. We'll mention as well, if anybody is watching and you've already stitched out one of the doodle, um, doodle crafts kits, do get in touch. Let us see what you've been up to because I'd love to see. Now, something I need to ask you about, whoops a daisy, the, um, the gift that we're getting. Is it this pattern that we're going to be getting in each one of the, the um, orders? Yes, it, yeah, the, it's the chart for the coaster. Um, it has a heart design. And I'm thinking that lots of people will have um, spare threads that they've had left over. And, and it's a good way to use up those threads. Yeah. And I must admit, I do love the fact that you do your charts in full colour because for me, that is so much easier and so large as well. <laughs> That's what we, we try to do is make it as easy as possible. Well, this is the key thing. Um, um, so if you're placing an order, you will get one of those um, charts within your order? Yes. Perfect. That's nice and easy. Don't need any codes, don't need anything like that. All you need to do is place your order. So how simple is that? I love that idea. Now, what sort of things are we going to learn from you from your videos? We're going to look at them a little bit later on, but are you going to teach us how to do the stitches? I'm, I'm going to uh, show you some of the snakes and ladders uh, and a, a few stitches on that. Um, no. with, uh, I've sort of assumed that people know a little bit about cross stitch. Yeah, that's fair um, enough. So I don't cover the cross stitch, more the, the black work filler patterns. That's a good point, actually, because like you say, cross stitch, it's quite a simple stitch, isn't it? Um, so literally, if you've ever stitched before, even if it's like a greeting card and you've done one of those little crosses in there and you've done your black work, then, yeah, you could complete with this. Yeah, yeah. Now, is it a project that a beginner could have a go at, somebody that's never stitched a project before? Um, I, I would think it would be a good idea to have a go at something small first. Okay. Just just to give yourself the confidence, because it, it's not difficult. I'm not, not saying that for one minute, but um, some people are, are a bit um, nervous about starting such a big project. So it, it might be worth having a go at just one of the squares first. That's um, a good tip, yeah. If you've got just a little bit of a, um, it doesn't even have to be exactly the same count or the right colors, but just do one of the little squares. Yeah, mm. yeah. Good idea, like that idea. Um, and you can even take inspiration from this and, and do a little square. And, I mean, they'd be fabulous, like little coasters. If you did like, I don't know, maybe nine of them in a little block or something like that, you could just make something practical with them after as well. Absolutely. Love that idea. Well, Debbie, thank you so much. As I say, welcome to Chanda. The kits have been very popular already, but I, I better get a jog on because we've got a lot of things to show people. And I want to see your, de um, your demonstration as well. Thanks very much, Hayley. It's been lovely talking to you. And to you too. And hopefully we'll get to meet face to face at some point in the future. That would be great. All right, you take care of yourself. And thank you again for bringing these fabulous kits to us. Oh, thank you. All right, you take care now. Yeah, you too. Bye. There you go. Bye bye, darling. Bye bye. So there you go. That was our fabulous Debbie. Um, one half of the, the fabulous company that brings us Doodle, Doodle Crafts and these fabulous kits. Now, I mentioned that we've got a second Snakes and Ladder set. Details on your screen, obviously, for that particular one. But if you're into your dragons and your fantasy, then maybe this is the one for you. Because this time we are looking at your dragons and beanstalks. And I love that because, of course, you climb up the 
the beanstalk, don't you? Um, or do you slide down the beanstalk on this occasion? I don't know. You'll have to check out the kit. Now, obviously, when you're working yours, you can see here, you've got all your different elements here. So I'm guessing the dragons will be like the snakes, won't they? So you climb up a beanstalk, like Jack and the Beanstalk, and you'll slide back down the tail of the dragon. Now here, at the moment, you'll slide down and you'll go into the abyss because there's nothing there. But of course, when you have completed your um, blocks, then you are going to create a beautiful, beautiful project. I love this because this is one of those projects that you don't have to, you don't feel obliged to sit there and complete the whole thing. You could just say, I don't know, one evening you can do one square, the next evening another square, and it will build up. But the key thing is you've got everything that you need within here. You can see your layout, obviously your full colour photography there showing you your chart once it's been stitched out. But the beauty is, and I think this is very important, if you've ever done cross stitch before, then you, if you like me, when you come to a black and white chart, sometimes it can be a bit tricky because you've got a key. You'll have dots, you'll have squares, triangles, and then you have to kind of cross-reference them. With this, there's no cross-referencing cross required at all. You can see you have got your little markings in there because, of course, it's useful to have them in there. But you can see quite easily the colour that you're needing to pick up to transfer over from those skeins and away you go and it's got a lovely large size chart as you can see here so this one here um, it's just kind of about four squares across almost really isn't it but each one of those full color even down to the border with your single line stitching your black work that you're going to be doing and it's just a really easy way for you to get some incredible results and you're going to love it it's going to be a conversation starter this one now if you're wanting this particular one you are looking at 42 pounds and 99 pence and we're talking to Debbie there about stitching on the back of your instructions it does actually show you how to complete your stitches as well so if you are a complete beginner then confidently you can thread up and you can see there you take your thread through one of the little holes diagonally across from one to two then bring it back out where the point is three and then across and that is it that is as easy as it goes and then if you do need to do any of your black work then you will find full instructions within here as well DMC threads as well one of the best within the company that's going to show you how to do all of those fabulous stitches so if if you fancy this particular kit, details are on your screen there, 747 451 and just £42.99. and pence. But maybe snakes and ladders aren't your thing. Maybe you like more of a mind game, a little bit of chess perhaps. But maybe you don't like the kind of little characters, you want something of a very classic style. Well, this is beautiful. The colour tones from this absolutely gorgeous you're actually getting variegated thread in here as well some really pretty designs now we're talking chess on this occasion and have a look at this feast your eyes on this it's absolutely beautiful I'm trying to find the right and the wrong way with this one but of course there isn't because you, you work in all your way around really aren't you with these but have a look isn't that beautiful my goodness but again, there's a lot of open areas with this. As you can see there, you're only actually stitching alternate squares. So in effect, only half of this project is being stitched. Of course, you've got the beautiful border around the edge as well, which is very pretty. I mean, the colours from this, you've got gorgeous kind of dusky pinks in there, really deep, almost like a, a, a wine pink in there. And then you've got some, your earthy tones as well. Absolutely beautiful, working your way around. Again, similarly to the other kits, you can have your Aida in there. Again, 18 thread count, which is a, a good size, nice size, because it's not, it's not too holy, not too gappy, but it gives a very professional result. Nice, easy one to work with. And of course, your charts in a similar sort of vein, full color, A3 um, with, um, with regards to that. So a nice, easy, large chart to work from and everything that you need within the you just need your needle you need your scissors and away you go 13 does he oh you get a needle in there oh so you do there you do there you go there's your needle in there as well fabulous brilliant kit for as a gift for somebody isn't it as well um 37 pounds and 99 pence 996 388 something like that i think it's a brilliant wedding gift for somebody as well because you can be stitching that out for a wedding maybe a couple of years time or the next summer and you could actually personalize the border as well couldn't you so that's a, a nice keepsake i think as a gift or a special birthday now backgammon backgammon is a game that i have never played i've never played i've seen people play and i've heard it's really good is it a bit of a strategy game i'm not sure i know how it works i know it involves dice now you've got three different colors featuring within here as you can see so you've got obviously a gorgeous kind of red tone in there and the black which i think are very traditional with regards to backgammon um kind of boards that you've got with these okay it's a case it comes in like a case doesn't it with little walls because you've got to throw those dice haven't you and you don't want them going all over the floor i understand the fundamentals it's just i've never actually sat down and done it 
Perhaps I need to. Now, look at this. Again, beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I love that Celtic border around the edge. That is good. But you're going to learn how to do that border. That border you could then use on other projects, couldn't you, quite easily. Very effective. Strong colours with this one as well. Lovely design. And again, as we've mentioned before, 18 count with this one. All the threads, the needle, the instructions, the tuition, all there. All you need to do is look up how to play if you don't know how to play already, um, which is something that I need to do. So there you go. Again, £34.99. pence. Incredibly affordable, these. 738626. Now, how about a game of Ludo? Oh, I love Ludo. Ludo always reminds me of Christmas. Being a child, after, after Christmas lunch, sitting down and playing, and, and I love a bit of Ludo. Um, a bit of strategy in this one as well. So, uh, yeah, nice little kit, this one. Again, the bright colours, the primary colours featuring within here, because, of course, um, it is one of those ones that quite often um, you uh, have, well, you can have up to four people playing. Now, if I remember the rules of Ludo, you've got, is it four... Four, four little elements, elements that you've got to get home. You have to get them home, don't you? And I think if you throw a six, you can bring another one out of your waiting area, isn't it? Because you have a waiting area and then you have to kind of work your way around the board. Very Do check it out. Do find your own instructions. Because <laughs> I have a tendency, we'll be playing the game and halfway through, I'll suddenly remember something that I should have said right at the beginning. And it's quite a fundamental rule. So, yeah, don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Full pattern again, full colour, instructions, 18 count. Again, a lovely one, a lovely project for you perhaps to stitch out um, and have to, to work, a, I don't know, play even on those rainy days. Again, it'd be a lovely one to actually sit um, on the, a tabletop, as I say, covered with a piece of glass. But we'll learn more about actually finishing off and displaying your projects later on during the videos. £38.99, 647548 if you're wanting this particular kit. But what about a game of chess? Oh, dragon chess as well. Now, this has been a popular kit before we even came live. This is an absolute work of art. I mean, they all are, but this is beautiful. If you're into games like your Dungeons and Dragons or a fantasy world, all those different elements, these are amazing kits. Beautiful. I love the way the dragon kind of intertwines with the board there, as you can see, going through. Really amazing. Again, we've got one that's partly, sti partly stitched here. Um, of course, the length of time to complete the, one of these just depends on the amount of time that you've got um, that you can dedicate to it but it's not a race it's not something that you've got to try and get done it's, it's a case of that you just take your time you enjoy it and the beauty is when you've finished it then you have got the most amazing board that you can then play isn't it fabulous it looks beautiful even if you don't play chess i think it just looks amazing 46 pounds and 99 pence again 18 count again you've got all your embroidery flosses there in this one you've got a bit of additional work using some metallic so you have actually got those included in here as well so adding that sparkle and that sheen just gives it um, that kind of finishing touch gives it that little bit of pizzazz now 46.99 fabulous price you've got your post and packing on top of that but what you could do is spread your cost over two payments now just in case you've joined us let me just quickly go through similarly to the other kits you're going to get everything that you need to know so you've got your front cover with your imagery there so that's going to show you what you are aiming to achieve that's your finished um, board when you've uh, completed it down at the bottom it gives you the details of all the elements that you're going to have in here things that you might want to know before you get started and of course you've got your contact details over there for doodle designs you've got your instructions on the back here to help you some of those fundamentals some things that you don't even need to know things like adding beads but the information is there then you've got your chart here now with this chart you have got a mix of colour and icons as you can see here so you've got your symbols working through there with all your different colours featuring there so if you do want to re-stitch this out once you finish the kit then you know where you need to go for those colours um, and you can find all the details everything is detailed in here lots of hints and tips and we'll learn about that from our videos in a few moments there so nice one here I personally wouldn't suggest this one as a beginner although some people might say that if you see something that you fall in love with, that is enough to turn you from a beginner into a stitcher. And I personally, that's exactly what happened with me. I fell in love with a beautiful cross stitch. It did take me three years to complete. I'm not going to lie, because I was a complete novice. But once it was finished, it was amazing. My mum's got it on her wall now. Now, this is brilliant because you've got your, your um, pattern here, obviously 
it's A3 in size, so oversized with regards to the actual um, thread count that you've got on your, your IEDA, but it means that you can quickly and easily see where you are stitching. And of course, full colour makes it nice and easy for you to work with this. I love this one, absolutely beautiful. Popular kit as well, um, £46.99. The details are on your screen there. So we're going to have a little look at some of the VT that have been put together from the team. Um, and this one, we're going to learn um, how to actually um, start building up your snakes and ladders. Have a look at this. I'm going to show you today how to work with our games boards. I'm going to use the snakes and ladders as an example. This was the first design we created um, and it has a lovely feel to the finished piece because we've mixed cross stitch and black work. So you get the different textures between the cross stitch, which is worked in two strands and the black work, which is worked in one strand. The snakes, the ladders, the numbers, and then the grid is worked in cross stitch. And then the delicate patterns in the background of the squares is black work. Black work is worked in back stitch. And I'll show you a little bit more about that in a minute. All our charts are for counted cross stitch. We don't print anything onto the fabric and our threads are DMC. So uh, once they're completed, they're hand washable. So I'm going to show you how I start. You can, of course, start in the centre, as you do with traditional cross stitch, but I prefer to start in the top left hand corner. And to do this, I use a um, water soluble pen, or you could just use thread and uh, do running stitch. All our fabric comes with an extra two inches around the design. So to find the top left corner, you take two inches from the left side and mark it, and then two inches from the top and mark it. And that gives you your top left hand corner point. Now you could, you could mark out the whole of the outline of the board on the fabric if you wanted to. Or you can just start from the top left hand corner and the whole design will then fit onto the fabric that you've got. Next, we're going to have a look at the chart. So this is our chart. If our charts, are, if, if our designs have black work in them, then the charts will be printed in colour. This uh, shows you where the colours for the black work is. As in all traditional charts, the cross stitch is shown as filled squares and the snake. And then the black work aligned patterns. And these are in the colours that, that you're going to do that stitching in. So here on The snakes and ladders I've got a um, taken a piece of the pattern here for, for us to have a look at now I, I like to to work all the cross stitch first so once I've found my top left hand corner I'll start putting in the uh, cross stitch outline then I'll put the grid in and then the numbers and then the, the snakes and ladders this means that I'm left with the squares at the end to fill with black work. And it's easier to work the black work around the cross stitch than try and put the cross stitch in once you've done the black work. So the black work is shown as a line here on the chart. And that line matches where it fits within the pattern on the fabric. So. Here, we know that we've done these two pattern pieces, which are these two here. And now we need to, to put in this third pattern here. So I'm going to put my fabric onto a hoop. I know some people prefer frames, but I actually like working with a flexi hoop. So we'll put that on just like that. And then I'll get 
my thread. And what we're going to do here, our next piece of pattern is this line here. So it's two stitches from that box there. So I find my second hole, I come up with the thread and I do a back stitch. My next line is here. So I find the next hole down and I do a back stitch. I'm now going to do this line across here. And there's two stitches. And then we come to this diagonal line here that meets up with this other part of the pattern. And as you can see, as the pattern repeats, you don't actually need to always refer to the chart because you can see what you did to create that pattern previously. And the more stitching that you do of, of the snakes and ladders, you find these uh, patterns become second nature and you don't necessarily have to look at the chart. So I'm just doing a, a final couple of stitches to show you how this is placed. So we're now going to do this diagonal here. And then and it becomes quite therapeutic. You sort of uh, tend to get into a rhythm with it. And I think it's a a bit like doing the old dot to dot patterns but with a needle and thread instead of a pencil. Okay. So there you go. You can see you can see the pattern beginning to form and it it come it starts working quite quickly because you're doing that one single back stitch. You, f you find that you can complete uh, pieces of black work quite quickly. quickly. Um, and with the modular shape of these boards, by creating these squares, you find that, that the whole thing grows a little bit bigger than a picture because you can see that you've, you've completed something and you have that sense of achievement. Um, whereas sometimes with a picture, you can work on it for hours and not really see um, the difference that you've made. So that's the snakes and ladders board. With the kits, you'll get a stitching guide. This is our stitching instructions. And it shows you how to do the back stitch for the black work and how to do cross stitch. And it will also show you how to do fractional stitches. I know not everybody's very keen on fractional stitches, but for the snakes, we need the fractional stitches to give the beautiful curves that are on the snakes. So what I'll do is I'll show you quickly how to do a frac frac fractional stitch. I'll show you on this piece of fabric here. So these are three quarter stitches and they, these are the, the, the fractional stitches that are used. Um, and if if you see this stitch here, this will give you the diagonal shape around there. This stitch here would be the diagonal shape around this part of the snake's head. I'll show you just how to do this first one. With the fabric, the four squares at the corners are the four squares are the four corners of this square. So to do that fractional stitch, you come up at the bottom left hand hole, 
you then have to push your needle down the center of the square which is not always that easy but after you've done it a few times and that gives you that stitch there what we're going to do now is just complete the three quarter stitch by going diagonally like that and you can see even with one stitch that you're beginning to get the shape there which you wouldn't get with the cross stitch all the instructions are in the stitching leaflet or we have um, help files on our website what I'm going to do now is just show you quickly some tips for stitching with colorists. We use colorists thread in our chessboard. I'll just uh, move this. And the, the colorist thread, if you've not seen it stitched up, is beautiful. You can see here the beautiful changing color. This is the blue and brown. And this again is done in cross stitch and black work. And the grid again is in cross stitch and the patterns are in black work. Now the black work is worked exactly the same as, as we looked at just now with the snakes and ladders. There's no difference in that, but there is a difference in the cross stitch. What you need to do to get this beautiful color blocking is complete every cross before you move on to the next one. So rather than using this way of doing it here, where you do one set or one part of the cross in a line and then go back, you have to complete a full cross stitch before you move on to the, the next. And then you get the beautiful colour blocking that you can see here. I hope you enjoy uh, stitching our games boards. Thank you very much. No, thank you, Debbie. Learned so much in that, and it's such a fabulous voice to listen to when you're, uh, you're teaching. So. Very, in, very enjoyable. I did enjoy that a lot. So thank you for that, Debbie. And of course, don't forget, when you actually get your kits, do check out um, at Doodle Crafts via um, the internet. They've got social media, Instagram, all the usual channels there for you to get in touch and to see what the guides are up to. We've had a very busy hour as well. Lots of you getting involved, which is good to know. Um, and I think it's nice. We're kind of in the, the, the kind of stage where there's a lot of board games are being used again now, aren't they? We've got a little bit of time on our hands and it's revisiting some of those uh, things that we took a lot of pleasure from in the past including cross stitch i know cross stitch has never gone away there's a lot of avid um, stitches out there but it's one of those ones that you may well have tried a little while ago but for some reason you just haven't done it of late well these are the kind of kits to ignite that um, passion again and to get you started and of course as we heard from debbie when we had our chat it's purposeful stitching and this is the key thing you're making something that you can then go on and use over and over again you're not just popping it in a frame and putting it on a wall which is fabulous in its own right with this you've got a game that you can work with first one being snakes and ladders now got a couple of different versions of snakes and ladders available to you this one is a very traditional one where you can see those uh, enticing sna faces of those uh, snakes uh, they've got very cheeky faces those haven't they I do like those they look a little bit mischievous and that's because if you land on them they're taking you on a trip and it's going down the ladders of course uh, of, as you would traditionally have within you um, your uh, snakes and ladders taking you up to your next level now the pattern is brilliant it comes with your aida fabric now when it comes to you it's quite a starchy fabric because that's kind of part of the manufacturing manufacturing process don't be tempted to watch wash this I know sometimes when we're talking about fabrics we talk about washing just stitch out to start with but you are able to hand wash your project when you finish when you do finish it becomes much more fluid can you see how that fabric sorry Debbie she's probably screaming at the TV as I scrunch that up but just to show you that you have got the fluidity of your fabric there and that is purely by hand washing so apologies Debbie but you could, it, was, it was all purposeful honestly um, so then I mean it looks fabulous uh, 
straight away I'm looking and thinking it'd make a fabulous cushion cover but you couldn't practically couldn't practically play snakes and ladders really if it was on a cushion but it would look amazing wouldn't it especially if you've got a room that's kind of like um, dedicated to um, to games and stuff like that little games room my goodness we are busy for this one half the stock has gone wow we have been busy for that one now this one lovely bright colors your fabulous snakes and ladders featuring in there you could pattern your chart huge chart and I, I think this is brilliant that um, the guys have put these on a3 sheet so you've got plenty of um, kind of visibility with these so if you've struggled in the past with patterns then uh, maybe this is going to help you out and you can see there you've got all your squares now when you're looking at the solid squares so the black squares and the full color squares like you'll see in the snakes and in the ladders as well those are your full cross stitches as you saw um, in the um, demonstration that we saw earlier on um, but um, what you have got is obviously your stitched line here which is your black work where you're putting that overlay again we saw that from Debbie a few moments ago so really easy for you to come together but it doesn't stop there because of course we're celebrating the fact that we've got a brand new company um, to us here at Achanda you are going to get a little bit of a free gift by the way of a pattern brilliant pattern I have to say very very pretty design little coaster here so the pattern itself will give you the chart for you to stitch out of course you might take inspiration from that and use it on a greeting card or maybe make several of these and turn them into almost like a, a little nine patch cushion perhaps with that chart being used really pretty design you don't have to do anything to get hold of this all you need to do is simply place an order and that will be popped in alongside your order and it might be your snakes and ladders that you're ordering You've got flexi buy on this one so potentially you could be getting hold of this one and spreading the cost over two payments 20 pounds each um, and uh, post and pack it on your first payment because if you're free to remember you don't need to worry about that do you 410641 if you want in this particular one very traditional with your snakes and ladders but we've got a bit of a fantasy version coming up and this is lovely because i know so many people are into witches and warlocks and kind of all, all those kind of fantasy games and different bits and pieces so here you have got your fabulous dragons and beanstalks they are a thing aren't they they're warlocks I was going to say, I think it's a male witch. Got to be political, PC when we're talking about our witches here. Um, it is indeed. We've just, we've just verified that, so that is correct. Now, this one I love because you've got your dragons, but these aren't scary dragons. These are cute as cute can be dragons. Um, and they don't look as if they're going to be taking you on that trip down to the next level, do they? But they do. They've got those tails, as you can see there, just like the traditional snakes that you get in Snakes and Ladders. But on this occasion, you're climbing up um, beanstalks and you're sliding down the dragon's tails. Again, you've got a full chart with this one, full colour, large chart, really easy for you to follow you've got your solid colors in there again being your squares and then of course you've got your single line with your um, black stitch featuring within there as well lovely decorative border with this as well love these little corners all very in keeping with the whole design so on this particular one you can see that you've got the little dice featuring there as a little stitch detail and that's on each one of those corners as you stitch out your design. £42.99, again, another popular kit, and it's just a lovely idea. Um, you're getting a lot of, have you seen all the thread in here? There's loads. Obviously, some of them are carded, so you can see you've got your numbers featuring on there, and then obviously, when you do need to fill up those cards, you can do so. It kind of gets you well on your way to working with those. So uh, there you go, if you fancy that kit, £42.99, 78451. Now we've got the chessboard and we saw this one, colorist. Fabulous learning about working with um, these variegated threads because it's not something I'd considered. And Debbie had said that because quite often people, when they're stitching, they will do the diagonal stitch and do the whole kind of segment and then work back to complete the crosses. With these, as Debbie said, you need to complete your full crosses as you go. And that's so as you can take advantage of that gorgeous thread that you've got in here. So when you look at this, it looks like you've got lots of different threads in there, but you haven't. It meanders from one colour into another. So if I bring this little thread up here, hopefully you'll be able to see. It will go from the lightest tone of pink, going right the way through to that deepest tone. And in turn, it will go, obviously, you've got your green thread that's doing all the different ones. There. And in fact, I think it's all the same one because it's going from the pink into the green there as well. Yeah, pink goes into the green too. Lovely. Nice thread, that. Nice result as well, because what you're making is a fabulous chessboard, which just looks beautiful again. With this one, the cross stitches are going to form your border, your grid for your um, chessboard and then your infill alternate squares with this one you've got that stitch line detail again doing that black stitch work and of course when you look at this because you've got so many open squares you're probably only stitching about um, well two-thirds of that aren't you with the border so it's 
it's actually going to come together quite quickly, I think, with that one. If you fancy getting that one, £37.99, pence, nine nine six three eight eight. Now, backgammon, another very traditional game. I often see people playing this and we go on holiday. Um, and when we were in Turkey, I remember there were lots of people playing these in the evenings. So, yeah, backgammon, again, um, a very traditional game. Traditionally red and black, which is why you've got your red and black threads in there. And, of course, you have got your beige tone in there to build up that design. And with this one, again, it's a nice one. It's not a complete coverage stitch um, kit, again. So you're just stitching out where you can see the colours and then you're leaving the Aida fabric to do the rest. Don't know if I've mentioned, but each one of the kits is 18 count Aida. So if you that is something that's important to you, then that is key. Of course, you can use your pattern on any any st um, size um, of the uh, Aida fabric, but you will get a different overall size because, of course, that's kind of like your gradient. So thirty-four pounds and ninety-nine pence, seven three eight six two six. If you want in that one, two more kits to share with you very quickly. We're looking at Ludo, one of my childhood favourites. Used to love this one. Um, bright colours, happy colours, and a really fun family game. And again, you are stitching out all the detail that you need the grid filling in those little squares and elements with those beautiful stitches sitting on the top there and again they're all manageable little sections whether it's a tiny little square that you're doing or a larger filling area then that you can sit and leisurely stitch that out as you go again 18 count so again a nice easy um, thread count to work with and at 38 pounds and 99 pence a very affordable set six four seven five four eight and just keep an eye on the time i'm very knowledgeable kind of key the thing is that we want to get the knowledge in of how to put this all together so we'll show you that in a few moments but can i show you just one more kit before we do this one's been a popular one and this one again we're looking at chess but again we are looking at that fantasy world of dragons this is amazing beautiful love this now this one featuring a little bit of metallic thread as well because obviously you've got the swords featuring in here so you can get all the threads that you need all the different colors for your dragons and then of course you've got your very traditional black and white board there and then you can see here plenty of that Aida, plenty of the black thread there, but then you've got your metallic threads featuring within here as well. So you don't have to go off and find those. They are already there. Every kit comes with a needle and every kit comes with that bonus free pattern to um, create your own little coaster with these as well. Flexi buy on this one means you can get hold of this kit for just £23.50. What a brilliant deal. Um, and uh, 323371. Now, of course, D, um, we saw Debbie earlier on showing us how you actually stitch your kits together all the different kits that we've been chatting about but now we're going to have a little look at how you finish off your project once you stitch that last stitch so we wanted to offer some suggestions as to what you could do to use your games board once it is completed our standard boards are equivalent to a competition size chess board um, and whilst the ones that are th with themed borders are slightly larger um, due to um, the nature of the border the the principle remains so we use a standard piece of mounting card and you can put double-sided tape onto that and then take it to the edge of your games board and stretch it on the double-sided tape so that you get a taut surface and it's flat and optimised for playing. Another option is to um, mount it like this but on a with a piece of perspex over the front um, it, either in a frame or in a clip frame so that you can put it on the wall. We do have customers who have taken two of the boards because they're the same size and they've got snakes and ladders on one side and ludo on the other another option would be a playing bag now what we have done with this chessboard is added a piece of stiffening fabric and some backing fabric to create a bag so that when you have completed your game you put the pieces inside and you can then roll it up and store it away 
for future use. For this particular game, we have also added a pocket on the back that contains the playing pieces for our tic-tac-toe. So you can create a little pocket, put the playing pieces on the back, in the bag on the back, and then fold it up and put it away for future use. We have a customer who is a keen camper and they have leather backed their chessboard so that there is no risk of any damage of any anything on the surface of the table that they're using or the even the ground if they're camping harming the stitching that they've spent their time etc on so that is another option and that could also be used as a bag um, <clears throat> our core concept is to use a frame such as this which is has hardboard inlaid into it so it is exactly the same on both sides and you can use this with the games board um, to so the games board fits into the corners and with a piece of toughened glass on the top so that it's level and it's a flat surface all the way across and you can then keep your board clean and away from the children whilst you're playing on it um, and in this case this initial concept board is the right size for the snakes and ladders the chess the ludo the dragons and beanstalks and the celtic backgammon they will all sit into the in fit into this size of board with a piece of toughened glass or even perspex over the top so that it's flat and it protects your stitching and you can play to your heart's content thank you no thank you and you may well have noticed that wasn't debbie now i don't know the name of the mystery man but i think, believe it is debbie's other half so whatever your name is thank you so much i didn't know what to call you mr doodle mr doodle <laughs> mr debbie <laughs> i don't know mr harding there we go because it's debbie harding so mr harding very formal but thank you very much very rude of me do apologize we've looked through all the notes we've got no mention of your name so uh, apologies for that but thank you and i think that just shows you the different variants that you can get love the different colors of aidas that were brought in there as well just totally changes doesn't it the way that the different things work but we've had a very busy hour this is the first time that we've seen kits from doodle um, of craft this particular kit the snakes and ladders just to let you know 80 percent of the stock has gone now of course as we get towards the end of the show that is when we come to the busiest point lots of you finalizing your purchases deciding on which kits you are going to go oh we're taking a trip down the ladder where oh that's a long ladder oh, right the way back to number 33 oh you wouldn't want to actually uh, oh 83 down. oh no going the other way around it's sliding ladder that confused me can we go back up again there we go we're going from 33 we're climbing through to 83 that is definitely an air punch move isn't it you'd be thrilled to bits with that um in fact every long snakes we've, we haven't got any too long oh we have got a long snake here going from number 80 right the way to number 53 that's such a good is it oh off we go oh we're going the scenic route down we go um that's the kind of that you're going to have with your snakes and ladder board when you have created it love that idea um a fabulous kit every single one of the kits has been put together um, very mindful of that you can actually use your project that you've created at a later stage so on this one we're talking about a game board um, you've got your aida 18 cad every single kit has got more than enough aida in there ready for you to stitch out with comes to you and it's very firm if you stitch don't worry what will happen is that will loosen up as you are stitching and your final stage when you've got all your stitches in place you will do um, a little hand wash just to kind of um, freshen up those colors um, and uh, it will kind of get its fluidity then all the colors that you need are here some of them are already carded so when you you get your kit and your instructions through straight away you can go straight to those threads there pick them out you've got your a3 um, printout and this is your pattern which i think is brilliant because what debbie has done she obviously knows her cross stitch because what she's done is she's looked at all the elements that 
we find it easier with and that's what she's done within these kits so these you've got a three a large kit there you'll notice with every one of the patterns you will have your large elements there and don't forget you are getting your bonus pattern in there as your free gift for your little coaster there so if you want wanting yours this oh my goodness it's gone limited stock it's gone green on your screen oh i'm gonna bring the coaster with me because we've got a finished version of that one if you're wanting that one, you need to be getting hold of it now. Do not leave it too long because potentially you could miss out on that one. 410641 if you're wanting that one. But we've got another Snakes and Ladders kit for you. This one featuring cheeky little dragons. Lovely little faces on these ones. Um, and this time you are climbing up the beanstalk to go up the levels and sliding down your dragon's tails. There you go. Aren't they gorgeous? I love the colours in here. They're little faces. And that stitch detail, I mean, the shading, we haven't really looked at the, the actual shading of these designs as well. The artwork has been put together beautifully, really giving these characters dimension um, and personality. So, uh, yeah, this one here, again, you're going to get everything that was spoke of. The Aida fabric, 18 count, you've got your A3 pattern in there. And again, you are going to get your coaster pattern. And your coaster pattern, if you stitch it out and make it into a coaster, it will look something like that. Isn't that nice? Like that one. Um, incidentally, the snakes and ladders that we were looking at a few moments ago, it has now gone. So uh, sorry, no more uh, of those available to you. But we have got this one here. I've got this one. So this is definitely one worth um, going for. And this one is with your dragons. Popping the details back up for this particular snakes and um, ladders. Snakes and dragons, I nearly said though. But no, this, it's dragons and beanstalks on this occasion. Not a snake or a, a ladder in place. I'm digging myself a hole. I'm moving on to chess. <laughs> now, this one is using a beautiful thread. I love this design. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, the design itself is using a variegated thread. So you'll notice here, you'll see how you kind of move from one colour gently into another colour, featuring some gorgeous dusky pinks going through to some lovely kind of beige tones in here. Absolutely beautiful. £37.99. Again, comprehensive kit. Nice one because you've got large open areas with your white squares. So so uh, this one's going to come together beautifully and doesn't it look amazing there absolutely beautiful 37.99996388 if you're wanting to get hold of that one maybe we've not covered one of your games yet maybe backgammon is the one for you and this is a lovely one traditional red and black of course featuring within here of course you've got your skeins to cover those as you can see here and that gorgeous kind of pearly cream that you've got in there really pretty color again it's one of those ones where there's lots of white area so again it'll come together very very quickly might be that in just one evening you're going to be um, stitching out one of these I don't know what the segments are called I'm going to call them spikes because I don't know what else to call them but these are where your little counters sit don't they so you create and you throw your dice I know that much but I don't know how to play it £34.99 738626 oh I see you have to try and block your rival colour by the sound of it. Oh, it's a strategy one, that one then, for certain. Um, actually, backgammon. So next, we're moving on to Ludo. This is more my level. I used to love Ludo as a child, um, and it's a brilliant one. Again, you could be stitching this one out, playing with your nieces, nephews, the grandchildren, or maybe just yourself, you don't want to play. We well, might need more than one person, actually, for this one. But you can have up to four people, can't you? Moving your counters back to the home position, as you can see, with all those gorgeous bright colours. And that's a nice one. If you want to keep the colours quite simple with these if you if you colours are an issue for you to work with then this is a nice one to, to quite easy work with so there you go fancy that one 38 pounds and 99 pence 647 at a 548 if you want in these now our most popular chess set has been the one that we're looking at here and this is beautiful this time we are looking at dragons a multi-dragon chessboard and this is a work of art absolutely beautiful you can see part worked here but you can see the fabulous dragons you've got your four different colors of your dragons there but these are beautiful i mean you could create this perhaps to decorate a table put a piece of glass over the top of it and then maybe take the um, imagery from the pattern and the dragons to actually put those on a cushion panel and create some home decor to work alongside it. Got your full pattern as you will with all of the kits. You've got your imagery there to show you exactly what you are aiming to achieve when you're completing your design. You will have lots of tuition included within the kits. But of course, social media, do check out Doodlecraft. You will be able to find them and they will give you lots of support in you completing your project. 
if you've never stitched before this one might be a little bit of a tricky one to get into to start with but perhaps your passion will get you through that but you have got your full chart here um, a full color and it is on an a3 sheet making it nice and large and easy for you to follow your threads some of those are already carded um, and then uh, you've also got some additional threads in here because you've got a little bit of metal um, stitching with this one metallic threads coming into this and just kind of finishing off those designs so really really pretty oh that's not very nice to look at is it a plain white sheet but whichever of these kits you go for you know you are buying an amazing kit that is something that you're going to be able to use time and time again that's the thing Debbie when she came up with these designs she wanted to bring something that you could spend time stitching taking the pleasure from your stitching but then after the occasion of stitching it then you have got the ability to use it in a practical way and on this occasion many a games night I think will be had I have thoroughly enjoyed myself um, Debbie and Mr Har was it Mr Hardy Mr Harvey Mr. Hardy is a different person, isn't he? But anyway, thank you very, very much for bringing this brand new company to us here to Chanda. Our viewers have loved you being here and I will see you again.